Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Oxygen tutorial video. My name is Jonathan and today what I'm going to show you is how to make a floating call to action button that will kind of just hover in the bottom middle of your page. This is super easy to achieve and this is actually something that I created for a client that wanted a call to action button that followed them around on the page so that then on their services menu, which was super long, wherever they were, if they read something they really wanted, the call to action button for them to book now would be right there on the page. This works really, really great great and is super easy to set up and it works perfectly on the mobile devices too. So what I have set up here is a car repair services website and so this is the services page and as you can see you got this nice hero image at the top with our, our uh, heading and then all the services that this imaginary company offers and a little footer down there at the bottom. So what we're going to do is it doesn't really matter where you add in the button so just select a section and we're going to go add in a button. I'm going to just kind of leave the formatting as is for right now in terms of this layout of the section, but I do want to make some styling changes to the button. We're going to make it match this blue from our header. I actually have this blue pulled out right here, so I'm just going to copy this and pop that into our button color. It actually doesn't look all that much different, but that's okay. I'm going to change the padding to something like 25 pixels left and right, and then like 12 top and bottom make the button a little bit more filled out. That, that actually looks better. I want it 35 pixels on the left and right and 12 pixels on the top and bottom. We'll change this text to be book now. And then let's add a little bit of a box shadow to this. So let's go effects, box shadow. We'll make this black for now. Go 0, 10, 20, 0. And then let's take the shadow color down to like 15%, like something like that. Now what we're going to do is actually go to layout. We're going to change this position to fixed and then let's go like 15 pixels from the bottom and then we're going to go on the percentage here. Let's change this to like um, 45% and 45%. And as you can see, you can sort of play with these positioning a little bit to get the layout that you want. But of course, this is kind of hiding behind the other elements on the page, as you can see down here below. So all you have to do is change the Z index to a number that's higher than any other Z index on the page so that the button is always on top of that content. So in this example, let's say your picture of the tire and the heading here had a Z index of five for whatever reason. If you wanted the button to show up on top of that, you have to set the Z index to something higher than five. So in this case, let's just do like 25. And then now you can see that it actually floats. It does not behaving how it's supposed to in the oxygen editor. But if I save this and go take a look on the front end, almost certainly we're not gonna have any issues. And as you can see, yep, so exactly as we're expecting. So it's a little bit wonky in the editor, but that's okay because this behaves exactly how we want it to on the front end. So in fact, that book now button is probably a little bit too low. Um, so let's open up our structure pane and let's find that button. And then I'm gonna change the layout to, let's say like 35 pixels from the bottom, maybe even more like 50 from the bottom on the desktop version. And then I want the button to stretch out a bit. So let's go like 25%, 25%. And you can see that that makes the button super wide. And, I'm, and the way that this positioning is working right here is this is 25% from the left edge of your screen and 25% from the right edge of your screen. So if you smush that up to like 50, 50, then you can see the button is really small. And then um, I, I honestly think that something like 35% on both sides looks good. And that makes the, the call to action button um, just really nice and wide, really easy to see. And let's go ahead and refresh again and just take a look at that. So yeah, that's, that's like really plainly evident. Um, let's just say we wanna make the link to this button google.com for whatever reason. I just wanna show you that it works all the time and let's set it to open in a new tab. So let's save it, go refresh on the front end. And let's say you see the service you want and you say, yeah, let's do that. So perfect, it takes us to Google just like you'd expect. So now what I wanna do is show you how this behaves on the mobile version. So let's jump back into the oxygen editor here and let's pop down to like 992 and you can see the button is floating pretty much perfectly. Perhaps you'd wanna make the button a little bit wider to kind of keep it in line with your desktop styling, but I think just out of the box that looks okay. Once you start to get down to the smaller screen sizes though, like 768 and 480, then it becomes a little bit wonky, but it's super easy to fix by just going back into your layout, clicking the positioning fixed. You don't have to worry about top and bottom because it's just going to inherit that positioning from the desktop. And then let's just change the left percentage to something like 15 and the right to something like 15% as well. And that makes the button stretch to almost the edge of the screen, which is perfect. I'm gonna drop down to 480 and it still looks pretty nice. So let's save that go refresh on the front end, and then we'll just use the Chrome inspect tool to change our viewport to like the Pixel 2 XL. 
So as you can see, the whole screen size has adapted to our mobile Pixel 2 XL width, and the, the call to action button is still just floating there, which is really awesome. If you click it, it takes you to Google just like we set it up to. So as you can see, it's super simple to set up a nice floating call to action, and there's probably a lot of flexibility that you could do with this. You could make this button link to a modal, and inside that modal, there could be, you know, like a, like a scheduling system or a form or anything like that. So this is a really cool way to get content in front of people. And this could even, this could be anything. This could be any content. That's the beauty of Oxygen. Thanks to the flexibility of this layout in the positioning fixed function, you could make anything float like this. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a button or like a call to action. It could be a banner of some kind with a coupon code. If you're running an e-commerce store and you wanted to offer a 10% off coupon, you could just have a fixed text element here that says, get 10% off this product today only using coupon code XYZ. So as you can see, the flexibility is really wide open. Hopefully this tutorial is somewhat helpful for you guys. I encountered this, like I said, in a real site with a client that requested that, and I thought it was really cool. It was actually way more simple to achieve than I, I actually thought it would be, which is why I'm making this video. If you guys have any ideas for use cases of this or want me to expand on this, definitely let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in a future tutorial.